But um, all right, let's just jump into it. We went on Friday. We we went to Shuriken. Yeah, the Shuriken fights. Yeah, Shuriken fights in Event yeah. Finder Stadium. When Shuriken support Cam Rostin and Navajo Sterling. You no know, fucking vibes. The boys came back with a dub. Let's go. Yeah. But uh, okay. Uh, so was, I will explain. So Shuriken Fight Series is like a local New Zealand fighting organized. I don't know if it's an yeah. organization, but I think it's more it, an event event yeah, thing. Right? They don't sign anybody. Yeah, to it's the a promotion. promotion. It's just a promotion. Yeah, they have they help the whole Shuriken fights. Shuriken Fight promotions. They do yeah. kickboxing. They do MMA. They uh, they add boxing as well. I think yeah. if I'm not mistaken, but mainly kickboxing and MMA. Yeah. So the one we went for was MMA. Shuriken, yeah. Sur- Shuriken Fight Series 12, I think, yeah. was the one we went I'm for. I'm not sure which one it was. It was like a few championship fights on yeah. there. Yeah. So um, the heavyweight title, they had a light heavyweight title, they had a lightweight title, and then they had amateur bantamweight and amateur uh, lightweight. Sorry, they had a featherweight, professional featherweight. Yeah. And they had amateur lightweight, amateur bantamweight titles. Yeah. So it was like five titles. No, four. Five. The lightweight, the featherweight, the professional featherweight was in the title fight. Because you remember the guy that won, whatever his name was. Yeah. He was screaming, I want the title next. I want the title next. Can you not remember? Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's a title fight here. I don't know. Is it? But it's the one where we were saying it's a boring fight. Oh, right. It is not. It's not yeah, a title fight. Yeah, it's not fight. a title yeah, fight. It was a professional yeah, so fight. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> so it's four titles. But yeah, okay. So again, uh, Shuriken Fight Series, it's, uh, it's a great event you know, yeah, I feel like promotion. it's second best in his own right what's what's the next big show in King of the of, Ring is the King of the Ring is the, that's why it's the second best King of the Ring is the biggest show yeah the biggest show yeah. second best might just be might be Shuriken yeah. might be Shuriken because I feel like I see that a lot more than yeah. I see any other fights generally yeah. and um yeah okay so we can just start start off with the fights so the fr- there's so many fights on there we just kind yeah, of so about them. the ones we liked and yeah. the one we found we found interesting Great. So that was Jack Ball and Jack Cameron. Yeah, that was a good fight. That was crazy. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah. So I forget which Jack is who now, but there was yeah. one Jack with the short hair and one Jack with the long hair, and yeah. the the Jack with the short hair was good. Yeah, man. he was good. He man. was a elite fighter. Yeah, didn't look like it. He was putting a pace on him and stuff. Yeah, but they were throwing some wild shit. The other Jack, the yeah. one with the long, long hair. hair. Yeah. Man, he was like flying knees, like, yeah, like a flying knee yeah. shit. Like he caught him with a knee too. I think to the yeah. face. It was good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good fight. It's just um, amazing. Yeah. And uh yeah, shout out needs. shout out the Jack that won, whichever one that was. Yeah. The long the short Jack head Jack. <laughs> I think it might have been Jack Cameron. Cameron was the guy from Pookie Koei. I think so. Extreme yeah. MMA, I think he's from. Yeah, that was a good fight, so shout out to those boys. Yeah. Uh alright, we'll just skim over them because I can't I can barely remember their fights at all. Yeah. <laughs> I was there live and I still don't but remember. I can't remember like yeah, it's such a blur right now. Yeah. But I know like it was good, it was entertaining fight. Yeah, man. yeah. Now let's get to the next one. What was, it? what was the next one? Next one we got uh, my boy from uh, Van Roo Yeah, Jacob yeah. Fleming. Jacob yeah, yeah. Fleming fighting some random. Yeah, he guy did good, man. Like that spinning back kick was gangster. What a yeah. knockout! That was a good. Yeah. That was a good TKO. But uh, yeah, so first round on the on, on Jacob's fight. Yeah, he, he lost he, big. Yeah, yeah, big he, time. He tried like, to kick him. Try to kick Matt in the head. And Matt down. immediately took him down. Yeah, he was just he, he he wasn't patient, man. He, I, I like I said, he wasn't patient. He just rushed in too quickly. Yeah, should have taken his time a bit more. Yeah, but I mean, he said fine. as well. Like, yeah. yeah, he did good. But I'm saying that first round, he just was too yeah. eager. He just yeah. went in too quickly. He's fine. He defended well. He ate yeah. some shots though. Some, yeah. some punches straight to the face. You can yeah. hear it. We were on the stands up above, and we yeah. could pop, pop. Yeah, you know, he ate some shots. Second yeah, round, came came. second round, he did his thing. He did good. He was fi- on fire, yeah. man. He was. In and out, ducking, yeah. weaving, kicking, kicking the head, kicking the leg. Yeah. And then he did the standard, the same thing Carl always drills, the spinning back kick yeah. in the liver, man. And that guy just That, that shit landed right in the liver. Fuck! And that right guy, in the fucking kisser. Yeah. yeah. And Matt Rogers, that guy, he was on the ground for like five bro, that minutes guy was after. out, bro. That he guy was, was hurting. Done, man. He I was thought he done. broke his rib. He might have, right? Yeah. Or he might, something might have happened that, fuck, Because it, it, it landed right at the, the edge here right? yeah man. so it, like Fuck. it went in and it, it was it was jacob's hurt. heel that went yeah. in and in the replay from the other angle you can see from the front it didn't look like it even hit yeah. like in the video i recorded that i posted on my instagram it didn't even look like it landed it looked like he missed but then when you see in the replay that they showed yeah from the back you see his yeah. heel just hit Fuck. him in the side that would have fucking hurt man my probably was winded out. him he was out he was on the floor yeah for so long and uh man shout out jacob yeah, shout out to Jacob. Man. That's good a work. dumb fucking nickname, though. 
What? They, his nickname ginger was Gingerbread Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess ginger. he got the ginger hair and all that, but... I don't fuck with gingers. But nah, he's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like gingers. Why? <laughs> They're weird. They're always from West Auckland. Nah. Most of his fucking gingers from out west. Nah, I don't know. I think the ginger community gonna come for me. You're gonna get banned like Andrew Tate, but nah, let's go. Um, yeah, you know, because speaking of that, I never understood that. I always hear people people say like, oh, gingers are this, gingers are that. I don't, I don't understand what the root... From where it came from, it's just it's gingers are just you. You gingers are just fucking angry people. Yeah, they they're just angry. Ginger is like red hair, the red, the, the yeah, orange like, type of hair, yeah, 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 yeah. Irish type of hair, yeah, like like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Ed Sheeran. Good music. Last yeah. album sucked though. I like gingers. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I like hey, ginger. Better bitches. claim yourself. No, 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 no. I like ginger bitches. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> no, no. I like ginger bitches. Some ginger bitches. Yeah, nah, okay. All right. Um, Fuck. I sound like Andrew Tate right now. Ginger bitches. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um. So yeah. Shout out Jacob Fleming. He won. He did what he had to do. Um. Next fight was what? The Rory. Is it? Rory. Yeah. Rory O'Keefe. Okay. 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 Maybe I don't know, but Prashan Guda. My guy, let's go. That's the brother, the Brown Brothers. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Shout out Prashan. <laughs> Honestly, Shut. I didn't know who he. Obviously, I don't know half these guys. Right? When he was coming out, yeah. and I saw Rory doing the Conor McGregor. Yeah, spinning Rory's back. confidence was on fire, man. I like, I like his confidence. I like the way he came out, like dope, entertaining. Yeah. I fuck yeah. with that. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be. I, he did good, but I thought he's like he was gonna win because uh, there's the confidence, there's praise, uh, cage presence, and everything. Yeah. And Prasant came out. Yeah. My guy was like, oh, he was, he was calm, he was yeah. calm, put his hands up, he was chilling. I can't he came out, out. He came out to one of my favorite songs by Six Seven. Look, still pulling up on smoke, skin in my pocket. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. When he came out to that, I was like, yeah, that's my guy right there. Yeah. That's yeah. my fucking song, gigs. Gig's verse on that song was one of my favorite yeah. verses, man. Man play hero, bury man's cape. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. in this jungle, everyone's apes. Yeah. <laughs> it was so gangster, man. But yeah, anyway. Prasad came out. I think the first round, he was doing good, man. He was setting up those leg kicks. He was landing some punches. He yeah. ate some. He ate some punches. I think he ate some knees and stuff. But Yeah, I mean, it was a back and forth fight the whole really time. really good yeah. back and forth, back and forth. But Prasad was just clearly the better fighter. He had more pressure. Yeah. Um... I, well, I see. I don't know if it was clearly the better fighter, but it, from what I remember, and my memory is very hazy, it looked like it was it was like 50-50, Man, they were both going at it. Yeah, but I felt like, like, like Prasad Prasan Prasan had the wrestling. Prasad had good. yeah had had good wrestling, and I feel like he was putting more yeah. more more of a pace. Yeah. on Rory, and uh, yeah, and then he he was he, setting up those low kicks really well. I well. Can't, how did he get the 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 I think the he took that he did? I think he took him down. I know, I know he was down and, and Rory was scrambling to, to do something. I yeah, can't I can't remember. I think he but was, was by I, the cage and he... Yeah, he I think Rory it. was on top of him or something and he... Oh, I can't remember. I can't I remember, remember how that. he got it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Should have recorded I feel like I should have recorded at least every fight yeah. a little bit just so we remember what it was like. But anyway, shout out Prasant Guda. He won that yeah, some, sort of, some sort of title. That's a gangster. I don't, know what weight, I don't know what weight class he was in. I fuck with that boy. He's but, a gangster. Uh, yeah. And, that uh, was Bantamweight. He won the Bantamweight title. Bantamweight title, yeah. Yeah, he didn't look too big as well. Yeah. He looked big, but the um, Rory, Rory. O'Keefe didn't look too big. Yeah. But, uh, well, the next fight actually wasn't Prasant Guda and Rory O'Keefe. It was, um, oh no, it was, it was, okay, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he won the title. He was humble about it as well, which is yeah. like, cool to see. I forget what he, like, it's the audio was so shit, can barely hear yeah, them barely talking. Hear. Yeah, from the, yeah. At least from up there where we were. We weren't obviously in the VIP tables. Maybe it was better there. Because, um, yeah, I don't know. But, uh. Yeah, Prasant, Prashant, I think it's Shant, not Sant, it's Prashant, I think. I yeah, might have Prashant, wrote, I yeah, might have Prashant fucked up the spelling here. But, um, yeah. Shout out to my guy. guy, let's go. I don't know where is he fighting out of him, but, you know, shout out to his gym as well. Good coach, as you can tell. He's good at what he's doing. Uh, where am I looking at? Okay, so we got Ali Schmidt and Ezra Bergahan fighting. Bro. Yeah. That was a fucking robbery. That was daylight robbery. Yeah. It was, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it was def a uh, first round. You can give it. Yeah, to Oli. Oli kind of took the first round. Yeah, and, and you know, you know what? I think it was as well. One, Oli was shuriken fighter, right? Yeah, from no shuriken. shit. <laughs> yeah, um, and it could have been that. It could have been. Uh, We're gonna get canceled from shuriken, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I I don't train with them anyways, but um, shuriken. 
what was I gonna say? So yeah, Ollie fights out of shuriken fighting, and not only that, I feel like Ollie had so many fans there, so many like there were people on the stands, yeah, people but in the that crowds. Yeah, nothing screwed. to do with fucking. That has, the fight. yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It, it's a robbery, right? That why why is it a robbery? Yeah, <laughs> they gave it to the guy, the crowd favorite, in a way, right? It's what it looked like. It looked that way, right? Like he was a home fighter, and he was the crowd favorite as well. So I feel like they were just like, I, it was a close fight and kind of thing. They're, they try to, you know, shit like that happens, man, a lot in MMA. And it's, it's fucking terrible. Like, imagine you put in the work, you know you won and you did. they just didn't give it to you. And now you're acclaimed as a loser. Kind of like with Israel Asanya and Alex Pereira, the first fight. Yeah. Right? You know you won, but they just didn't give it to you. And now yeah, you're yeah. known as the guy who lost to that yeah, guy. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's terrible. But, um... Yeah, Oli Schmidt, he won the title, and I don't know, it's just, no. it wasn't good, man. That uh, Ezra Bergan, even though he looks like he's on steroids, but he was really good. Yeah, and Ezra, it, Ezra's the man. Like, man, yeah. I like, I was noticing what he was doing, man. When he was yeah. when he was orthodox, he was going, he was chopping the leg, and as soon as he turned the southpaw, his body kicks body was kicks, gangster, yeah. man. And he had good combos, he was landing some fucking yeah. good combos. The second and third round, man, he just did his thing. Yeah. He did his thing, bro. He didn't let his foot off the gas. Yeah. He was on. He didn't let his foot off the gas, man. Yeah. And he clearly won that, but they gave it to, obviously, their own fighter. Yeah. But, um, Ollie. yeah, fuck that. But, um, yeah. Shout so out to Ezra. We got to give Ezra his flowers, man. You yeah. killed that shit, bro. Fuck what anyone says. That yeah. title was yours. Exactly, yeah. Um, Ollie, Ollie, I could say I could give Ollie the first round because it looked like yeah, Ollie, Ollie won the first round. I, yeah. I give Ollie the first round yeah. as well. But last Second two was Ezra. Yeah, last two was definitely Second and Ezra. third was Ezra for, yeah, sure. for sure. So shout out to Ezra. That was your title. Yeah. Fuck him. Keep your head up. Do some more work and get back in there again. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I should follow him on Instagram actually. Ezra Bergahan. Yeah, I need, I need to find him. Yeah, no, shout I'll, out I'll Ezra, Ezra Bergahan. Yeah, hopefully we didn't butcher your fucking name, but yeah, my might, be, <laughs> might have been Bergan. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, 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 I wrote it down. And I can't, can barely read my own handwriting. But um, okay, before we go to the the next fight, which is uh, who we want to talk about, it's yeah, the City yeah. Kickboxing Boys. We got Cam and Navajo fighting. Before we do that, let's just talk about the talent in New Zealand in terms of fighters, right? Like we were from Malaysia. Yeah. And we've seen Muay Thai fighters a lot. We've yeah. always heard about it, but. Who's like the guy in Malaysia? No one. That is, no one that I, I think we think. just don't know. I know there's there's um Evting. I know he's a popular name. There, there, there's um there's his, uh I think he's Malaysian. He fights in he fights in one, one. championship. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. Of them he's one. a Malay guy. I yeah. can't remember his name. There's a few. There's some Amirol. Something. I think it's Wonder Wonder Boy. They call him Wonder Boy as well. But Liam Harrison fucked him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's so many. There's a few yeah, Malaysian yeah, yeah. Fight, a few Malaysian women as well that fight. Yeah. Uh, Chinese women and I think Malay women. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Like, yeah, but the, who's the guy? You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, that's that the thing. I don't know. We don't have the don't guy from the from guy, Malaysia yeah. at all. Even in Singaporean fighters as well, there's no the man over there. You got one championship there. Who's yeah. like the champ? Who's like the top? Probably guy? we just don't know. I don't we know definitely don't saying. know. But yeah. but that's exactly why I'm saying we yeah. don't know. You know, I mean, also if we were in Malaysia, we wouldn't have known who Navajo, or Cam, or any of these guys. Yeah, are, right? exactly. You know, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, that's true as well. But I feel like just in New Zealand, I feel first of all, cel- fighters are more common here. Fighting is more common here yeah, yeah, than it was course. in Malaysia, yeah. right? And also New Zealand's a small this, country. I mean, just so. a warrior, warrior land. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. these guys are warriors for sure. You know? The Maori people, they're all warriors. Yeah, the warriors. It's part of the culture. So it's as well. part of the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so the talent, man. Like this, okay. Obviously, we're biased to city kickboxing. You see, we got guy fighters like like Ezra. We got fighters like. Like Jacob, you got fighters like who else? Jack Cameron. These yeah. are all c- crazy talented fighters, and they're not city kickboxing fighters. Yeah, yeah, you know they're they're fighting from wherever. Extreme MMA. Yeah. Oliver uh, Prasant was from Oliver MMA. Yeah, you got all these fighters from all around, and they're crazy talented. Yeah, it's just yeah. we don't really know, and we're biased to city kickboxing obviously because they're yeah. to us they're one of the best, and they are literally one yeah. of the best, right? So that is my home. And we'll talk about we'll talk about the, just the talent that we know, right? Who else do we know that's not city kickboxing? That's that's crazy good. From elite Thai kickboxing, I know there's a few crazy good fighters. Yeah, well. from ETK, like there, there, like there's so many fighters. ETK had so many King of the Ring champions. Yeah, like, there's yeah. a few. There's Tapa like, Missy Party, yeah. like uh, Polly. Um, there's so many that come out of ETK. Who else came out from ETK? Uh, Pati Afoa came out from ETK. Yeah. Um, who else is from ETK? There's so many guys from ETK, man. Yeah. Like, who won the last King of the Ring, the heavyweight guy? Was he ETK? Uh, who won heavyweight last? Lava who won the heavyweight? No, no, no. Uh, King in of the Ring. Oh, what are you Super heavyweight, I think it was. 
The last oh, King of the Ring. Oh, fuck. I can't remember who that was. The main at. event. The stream cut, so I couldn't watch. Yeah, I wasn't one. sure what, what, yeah. where he was from. But yeah, there's a lot of fighters that come on ETK. Like, there's yeah. so many. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so fighters. I mean, we got so many fighters. Just in New Zealand, out of general. I got Carlos yeah. Holbrook, Dan Hooker, um, Brad Riddell, fucking Cam Rostin, Navajo Sterling. You have like, man, there's um, more. There's so Kai many Kara more. France. There's These Kai. are, I'm talking about the, obviously the popular ones. Yeah, the yeah. Big names, there's right? Kai, there's Oz, o- Oscar Remy Hanna, Oz Remy yeah. Hanna. Like, yeah. we got, um, uh, uh, what's bro's name? Um, from London, the UK. What's the name? I know who you're talking from about. It's not coming. But anyways, yeah, this is the the, the guy from. No, no, no. We gotta say his name from no. Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, Mark Timms. Mark Timms. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, Tim. Mark Timms. Yeah. Mark Tim, don't sleep on fucking Mark Tim's. Nobody's sleeping on Mark Tim's, man. <laughs> don't sleep on Mark Tim's. Mark Tim's been in the game for such yeah. a long time. He's he's good, man. He's elite, man. I should probably get some classes with him. I didn't know he was a personal trainer there as well. He, I saw him training just random people. Yeah, he, he's, he's always he's just training yeah. pads. And he's smart, man. And he when he holds the pads, he doesn't tell you what to throw. He just does this. You know, and he, you just have yeah. to kind of figure out what he means. And it, that's yeah. a good way of throwing as well in uh, training. But, um... Shout out Mark Timms, yeah, but... John Bakke, shout out to the Bakke brothers too. You know, yeah, that's yeah, fucking exactly, talent right yeah. there. You got John Bakke, James. Yeah. Um, we have had Fao Bakke, but obviously yeah, I didn't know who he was. RIP, RIP to Fao Bakke. Fao Bakke was a fucking gangster too, man. Yeah. Willy Bakke, Willy was fucking Don't good too, but he hasn't fought in a long time, but yeah. I'm not too sure about most of the Bakke. Like, I, I didn't know who any of them are, obviously, until... The passing of Fao Bakke. Yeah, yeah. Only then I found out who, yeah. who James, John, and I only know those two. I don't know the rest. Yeah. But I know it's a big family. You got obviously fighters like Nyreen. Yeah, Nyreen. Um, funny uh, Jenna. Jenna Fabian. Yeah, shit. How did I forget about Jenna yeah, Fabian, man? Man. Damn, what a beast. Oh, That's you got beast, Shane. Um, Shane. Shane Young. Shane Young. I forgot his last name. Was Why? Because he keeps forgetting Shane. to hit <laughs> 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 no. but, Why? Because he keeps forgetting to hit you back? <laughs> He's not, Shane, he, he doesn't forget. Shane, nah, nah, nah my up. brothers be complaining. Nah. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter, that's bro. Fine. Where's the time management? Nah, <laughs> nah it, he doesn't forget. He just reschedules. He remembers the text. <laughs> he just reschedules again and again and again and again. I'm like, bro, I just stop DMing him at this point. But uh, I just leave it. I'll, yeah. When I see him, I'll, I'll wait till I see him enough, yeah. like on Instagram. But when I see him, it's on site now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. When I see him, I'll ask him, "Can you please, brother, train me?" But um, nah. And, uh, I want to see Dan Hooker does personal training. Probably he has not. a whole gym. What are you on about <laughs> personal training? He has his whole. He built the whole fucking gym, man. Yeah, he can go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about him, like, like actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him there as well. And he has some trainers there. Yeah, but yeah. Shout out to Dan. Man, the drink man. is fucking good, man. It's so refreshing. It legit says refreshing. It really is refreshing. Yeah. But okay, okay. I right. can feel it in my balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we, we, already, we already kind of talked about all the thing. Talent, we know. New Zealand talent is strong. We got champions to prove it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. like, fuck. Not even like, we, we're talking about talent in New Zealand. We're just talking about like, the now stars. yeah right think about the upcoming There's talents been, no no I'm, i'm coming me talent. talk nah, about me fuck you hey, me, fucking, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> put everyone all these guys aside. is he everyone all these guys aside yeah bro ray sefo yeah fucking mark hunt yeah doug viney eugene behrman yeah um so many man there's lolo as well Lo- yeah lolo, lolo hey Muli. Muli. yeah you his know what son mean? Is a young kid, but fuck, he's good at boxing, man. No shit, bro. His, son, it was, it was his, his dad, son's like man. 13, 14, but man, yeah. he's just dedicated and he's good. Oh, and we got shot another gym, Liga. City Liga gym. They, there's been a lot of guys that came out of Liga. Like, Don't know. Yeah, Liga. That, that's where Lolo Hemuli trained uh, the gym is. Is it Hamilton? No, nah, it's here. Oh. Um, I forgot where it is. It's here in in, um, in Auckland. It's the one with that with the big dragon uh, painting inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I've City Liga, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that's that. That's where I, I think Eugene Eugene trained there. That's yeah. where Eugene went, I think, the yeah. first gym. I was, was watching Liga. Eugene fight someone. I think it was his last fight. Yeah. He's where, fucking good, yeah. man. <laughs> Eugene's a gangster, bro. Like, <laughs> so fuck. cool. Like, I, I've seen Eugene so much as he came boxing. And I've seen him hit the pads when he's explaining to us. But yeah. I've never seen him fight. Right, it's so like weird looking at holy shit, Eugene's throwing yeah. head kicks and shit. It's like, damn, man, yeah. he's a good fucking fighter. Clearly, yeah. he's the coach, head yeah, coach. Yeah, of course, but, of course, no shit. It was just so but cool yeah, like fight. I was saying, like these guys are the ones that, that these are these are guys from way back in the day that were yeah. they were doing it when it was not cool to do it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, and when there was no support, you know, now there's a bit more. There's still not much support, but there's more support now than it was back then. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you think about Doug Viney, Doug Viney took it to places, man. He walked in, he went to like, um, yeah, the glory, and he was at like to the fucking highest level of kickboxing you know what he I mean he fought Bada Hari man yeah he fought fucking Bada Hari you know what I mean like, Bada Hari's still going at it crazy like, like, he, he fought the best of the best yeah. you know what I mean putting the uh, putting the name on the map so yeah yeah. and fuck those critics that were talking to that that, that, that were saying shit about Doug Viney they were like oh they were talking because Ju- when Junior lost they were like oh they were like oh Junior Junior needs to get with a real boxing coach. Uh, Doug Bunny not a real yeah, boxing coach. Yeah. Like, fuck you, man. Yeah. Look at his credentials. Fuck that. How yeah, many I remember these, that. None of these motherfucking boxing coaches got credentials like Doug Bunny. Yeah. So, fuck you. Doug, Doug is the man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Up. Just because a final loss doesn't mean like, oh, his coach his is coach shit. Is How shit. the fuck exactly. you come yeah. his coach? Yeah. Your critiques can suck my dick, man. Yeah, it's so stupid. But, um... But you shouldn't pay attention to the noise. Like yeah. that's it's pointless. You, what what's um Israel Desanya said? Fuck the noise, right? Yeah, you it's always fuck the it's, noise. It's, you know, yeah, but, it, it, that's what it is. But still, like you, when you downplay someone's you know credentials like that, it's like get fucked. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, but, but yeah. Uh, I wonder who it was. It might have been some other. Uh, yeah. And shout out to Junior Fatu. That's my guy. Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> Bro, so he's many, so funny, there's man. So Junior many fighters out of, out of. Shout out to Junior Fa, man. Junior yeah. Fa's funny. He's good. I love Junior Fa. His Instagram is funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fucking love Junior. I'll tell you when I was sparring Junior. Yeah, he's. Michael Belly would touch this motherfucker. He just, he just destroyed me with jabs. I was like, yeah. this bullshit. And then he posted like, uh, like had different types of fighters, like yeah. you know, shadow boxing. Yeah. Hey, I don't know if you saw that video. Don't know. If I it was like. The guy that just faints, <laughs> faints. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I comment. I was like, I was the guy that was just fainting with no fucking punches when yeah. I spied you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't do nothing, man. Yeah, I mean, he's an elite fighter, man. He fought yeah. Joseph in um, Spark Arena. Yeah, yeah, Sold yeah, yeah. out. I remember it was a big, there was traffic jams. There yeah. was like a lot going on. That was a big fight, man. Yeah, it was it was a big huge fight. New Zealand fight. I shot out to Hemi as well. Hemi is a, Hemi, that's I, my yeah, guy, yeah. bro. That's a gangster. There's, right there's too many fighters out of, yeah. out of um, um, we got David Nika as well, City yeah. Kickboxing, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean he's, he's not, not anymore. really, yeah. Not, not, <laughs> not anymore. That's, that's a bit rocky right there. Nah, no, no. Nika definitely, he, he switched gyms quite a bit, right? He used to train yeah. in, in Hamilton, I think, first. Or Wellington, I can't remember. Now, I respect the Nika still, but I don't know how the relationship yeah, yeah. I don't want to even talk about it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. But, um, no, yeah, I think he's trained. Now he lives in, all, well, he trained with Tyson Fury, right? Him and uh, Joseph Parker, they were training with Tyson Fury and yeah. when Tyson was going to fight uh, Dillian White. And now I think David trains in in uh, Australia. I think he lives there oh, as well. Oh, like, no. He's always around there. I follow yeah. him on Instagram and I see Nika as well. You know, you know, world yeah. class fighter, world, world class. class. Bro, yeah, fuck, what a beast! Yeah. Nika's a beast, man. Insane. Beast. Every fight, he's three and zero now. He went to the Olympics. He lost in the Olympics, but he, he got silver. But that's the thing. Like, there's yeah. no shame in, in losing in yeah. the Olympics. The Olympics is like the highest, the highest Literally. level. You know what I mean? And boxing at the Olympics is crazy. Yeah. I think I feel like boxing Olympics is still a bit more higher level than it would be in pro boxing. I guess maybe like higher level, le- the higher level. end of, 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 of pro boxing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's the highest amateur. Oh yeah, I guess pro so. Box, yeah, high, amateur boxing yeah. level. I don't know. I'm just talking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking shit. <laughs> no, it's 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 our, it's literally pro boxing. But pro boxing, you get paid. There's yeah. promotions involved. There's sponsors and all this involved. With amateur boxing, I don't think it's that. Like, you don't yeah. get money or anything like that, right? You get accolades, mainly t- uh, yeah. medals and shit like that. Man, when I but, saw the Shuriken fights, bro, I yeah. want to fight. Yeah, I, just I was fight fully again, motivated. Man. And, um, yeah, it's a, uh, that's the whole... that I texted you as well. I was like, I feel like it was just yeah. light this fire in you. It, it didn't for me during the first two, three fights, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, when it, I went there, I was like, this is boring. But, yeah. but, but it wasn't... But for me, I was more like... I was just feeling the environment again because I was there. Yeah. It felt like... And then I saw the fights, I was like, man, I can, no disrespect, but I can beat some of these guys. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a yeah. fact. I just feel that way, you know? Especially yeah. the featherweights. I was eyeing those featherweights up, and I was looking at them, I was like, yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what weight class, I mean, we'll find out when I fight. But uh, I I think, I, I don't know, man. Do you won't need to cut, dude. Just put yeah, obviously, I'm sure I'm not going to cut, yeah. but when I do start cutting, it'll be a different story. Yeah. Man. But anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, let's let's get to the, let's let's get get to to the, the main, yeah. the main, the co-main and main yeah. event. You got Cam... The killer giraffe! You got Cam Rostin. Let's go! You got Cam Rostin. <laughs> Let me finish it. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> you got Cam Rostin fighting Payne Hart or Pane Hart or whatever the fuck his name is. Payne Hart. <laughs> it might have been Payne or Pane. It's Pane. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's P-A-N-E, right? Whatever it is. So it could be anything. Uh, yeah. What's your thoughts on the fights? Let me start with what I think because I have very little to say, right? Because I don't know much about Cam Rostin generally. 
you train with him a lot more. But uh, well, from what I saw, Cam, I uh, can't remember the first round now, but I think Cam uh, beat him in the third. Yeah. Yeah, he submitted him in the third, right? Yeah. Rear naked, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, from what I remember, it looked like Cam was just uh, wanted to get rounds in, ring time in, right? He yeah. just wanted to, to get more time in the ring because he clearly could fuck that guy up. Yeah. He threw a head kick and that guy was falling sideways yeah. and he was just patient, just still fainting, fainting. Yeah. Like, he was just like, all right, like, this guy's easy work. Let me just, let me dance around. Let me get my, my rhythm because I get to hit someone full force yeah. as much as I want. You know, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's what he was thinking. That's what he's feeling like. Yeah. Like, in sparring, you can't do that. You can't throw a head kick as hard as you want. You yeah. Know? So you can tell he was doing that. He was wrestling, trying to get the wrestling work in probably. And I feel like that's what Cam was trying to do. Just get some rounds in. Get some rounds. And when he saw the neck open, he was like, all right, let's just end this yeah. right here. Pop, pop, pop. Done. Fight ended. Um, you can see it was easy as well. Because he was he took him down like slightly far. He dragged him to, to, yeah, he dragged to, to Yuji. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was like, so gangster. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> he dragged him to Yuji. I could just hear Yuji just telling him what to do. Yeah, they were just... And Yuji <laughs> was casually <laughs> holding the cage and just like talking. <laughs> the opponent can hear everything. You know? Yeah, it's like, literally, yeah. yeah. It's, it's funny to look at. But um, yeah. Well, those are my thoughts. Yeah, shout out Cam Ross. Yeah, Cam, Cam Ross is a fucking gangster, bro. First of all, like, man... Yeah. The, it's, Humble guy as well. Yeah, like... You could tell like he was using the long guy. He was tri- when I did pads with him. That's why he was teaching me the, the the movement, the lateral movement. He kept moving around. Yeah. That's that's exactly the way I was. I kept moving around. That's mm-hmm. that's what that was what Cam taught me. You know, move yeah. around and and the feints, man. His feints was on. He kept fainting, yeah. fainting, 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 trying to find his shots. And Cam just did a good job, man. Just controlled the whole thing. He had good ring control, control. controlled, controlled it the whole time. He landed those fucking head kicks, man. Just wobbled yeah, him and man. took him to the ground, worked on the ground, just handled him, controlled him on the ground. Like, he just did everything, man. Yeah. He showed, he just showed his full skill set, I guess, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's so good, man. Too good, um, bro. Too good. Cam is just, Cam's a fucking beast, bro. Yeah. Cam is a beast. Yeah. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Cam. Well-deserved sure. win. How old is um, he? He's not that old. He's probably like, maybe my age, late 27. Late 20, yeah, late yeah, 20, 26, 27, maybe? Yeah, yeah. He's young, Probably 27, man. yeah, he's, he's still young. young. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Cam Ross and uh, City Kick. But we're supposed to, oh, we forgot to mention one guy. Kevin Juse. Juse? Oh, yeah. He was supposed to fight, man. Yeah, that is fucked up. His That's... opponent pulled out on the day of the win. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. And, and uh, That is so unprofessional, man. Yeah. What a fucking bitch. Not not really. You also don't know, right? You don't know what is it. You, who is the opponent? We don't know. What well, you could at least come and, come and show up and be like, yo, this happened. I can't do it. He probably did. Like, Nah, he didn't even show up. How do you? He know? pulled out. They said he pulled out on the way in there. Yeah, he probably. Oh, maybe. I guess he could. He probably couldn't. Just couldn't make the weight. Probably right. You never know what his opponent did. So because we don't know, we don't need to talk shit. Right? Yeah. The fighter is putting work trying to get there, and he just couldn't do it. Now the whole everybody's like, "Fuck that guy! Fuck that!" You know what I mean? You never know what happened to the guy. Unless if he really said, "Fuck it, now I'm not fighting. I can't." F-, or whatever. Then yeah. But if not, then it's pointless to talk shit about someone. But, um, no, fuck that. It's, it's um it's um it's sad for for Kevin. Yeah. Because imagine putting all. But the man, work. respect to Kevin. He still made the weight. He still stood on the scale and made the weight. Did yeah. all. The, he cut the weight properly. Made the fucking weight, man. Yeah. yeah. He didn't need to lose all the pounds. He could have just yeah. stopped as well because he knew his opponent pulled out. But he yeah. made the fucking weight. Yeah. So shout to him. Big respect to Kevin, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Yeah, and it sucked for him because imagine putting all that work, yeah. all that training, co- thinking you're going to dominate. You yeah. lost your last one, and you're coming back now to 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 win again to show that I I want to win like fully, thoroughly, yeah. not split decision, none of this shit. And you do all that, and then your opponent's like, no. Nah. And then you yeah, know, I that's feel like fucking trash, it's heartbreaking. That's so disrespectful. Fuck. If you're going to pull out, you should have pulled out a while back. Yeah, not one day out, not yeah. on the day of the win. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Yeah, but um. No, nah, it's good. And it, yeah, it was cool what Kevin said as well. He's like, oh, if any, uh, what, featherweight, lightweight, heavyweights want to fight, let me know. Yeah. Something like that he said. But uh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, but I was like, uh, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. Like <laughs> I was going to jump in and be like, yeah, bro, let's go. But you know what I mean? But I was yeah. like, uh, I'll see. Yeah, training, I wasn't with, feeling training it. with Kevin. Training with Kevin is good, man. His, his, uh, when he does the kick fit classes or kick tech classes, is good, man. He's, he's good with what he does. Yeah. And of course, man. Like, he's, fucking, he's a good yeah, fighter. The combos man. and everything. He's smart, man. Really good. And uh, <clears throat> let's get to the main event. Let's get to the the man, the heavyweight <laughs> the title, the fucking man, the man, fucking killer, savage. Navajo Sterling. Navajo Sterling. It's a motherfucking savage. Yeah. Versus um James Crow. I fucked his name up. I think Crowell. I think it was his name. Yeah, Crowell. I think. Yeah. Yeah. James Crowell dominated him like literally. Yeah. 
You could tell. I, I could tell he had a hard time like getting his shots off um, early. I was telling you, like I feel like Navo's. Yeah, he's not really. Yeah, he was kind of off, but he still dominated because he took him to the ground and wrestled him. But I guess in the striking, I don't know, something was a bit off. But yeah, yeah. I think even he said as well he felt a bit. He was new to the cage. That 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 he felt it was different. Yeah. But he still did his thing. Took him down to the ground. Dominated him completely. Yeah. That guy couldn't even do much. You know. Yeah. Now we took him down, and those motherfuckers on the stands yeah. where we were like, "Oh, he's scared, he's yeah, scared." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah," but the thing I didn't understand what you were doing is why are you engaging with them? Like, nah, I wasn't engaging with you them. Literally I literally like, were. You literally he ain't scared. I was like, "Nah," I was yeah. like, "Fuck, nah, fuck that." How are you gonna say he's scared? He's not scared. And when we took but, him down, they were like, "Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing." I like, he's gonna show you now. So I was like, yeah, "Nah, but, fuck that." You, I know, but nah, like, if they're gonna talk shit, I can talk shit too. Why yeah, not? But. I, I mean, I wouldn't do that. It, does, it yeah, didn't nah. make sense for me to... Like, I, I was hearing you. You were standing next to me yelling. You were fighting with these fans of some some of James Crow. Whatever. It's probably his family members. It's probably his teammates or whatever. Obviously I don't they, give a fuck. Gonna I stand, nah, I'm going to stand with all the boys. Fuck it. Of course, yeah. You can stand with that. But, like, I don't know why you're nah. arguing with people who don't matter. It's I wasn't like, arguing. They were yelling. I was yelling in the cage. <laughs> I was just yelling back in the cage. You, you know were me? yelling back at them to the cage. <laughs> yeah. That's what you were doing. It is what it is. It doesn't make sense. But, but nah, anyway. if you go okay, talk okay, shit, okay, I'm going to okay, talk okay. shit back. Fuck All it. Right, chill, chill, chill. All right, anyways, let's talk about Navajo. Nah, what fuck did. those cunts on the stand. I don't give a fuck who they were. Fuck yeah. them motherfuckers. But, oh, he's scared, bro. He's scared. Yeah, they, Ooh, they were saying scared. stupid shit, but... Bro, he doesn't know what he's doing on the ground. Shut the fuck up. It's pointless feeding into the clowns. Well, like Nipsey Hussle said, you know... Don't pay nah. attention to the clowns. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what did uh, what did you see us say? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't feeding into it. I was just you giving it back. You were feeding into it, bro. But I was, I was, I was giving. I was speaking facts, though. I was saying, yeah, like, look, that was not scared. Yeah, he's but not scared, he, and he's gonna show you what he can do on the ground. And he did. He, everybody, yeah, we know, like he did it. Yeah, but yeah, there was no. It's reason, just, it's just but, nice to say it back. Fuck it. But yeah, okay, okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, what Navajo did, he clearly had, um. I don't know. See, I don't. I don't want to say his striking was off, but I, based on what we saw on his Instagram, right, always you see what Navajo posts wrestling class. He did so much wrestling that I feel like he had. No, a, but he, he, had, had a, he look. He did it. The thing is, look. He did it. He just had a fight two weeks ago. Yeah, King of the Ring. He King had a full ring. striking fight. Yeah. fight. Yeah. So you can't tell me in two weeks you lost your striking. You know what I mean? Not lost, but yeah. But, but that's what I mean. I'm not saying I'm not trying to put him down. I'm just saying like he couldn't find his strikes for some reason. Like yeah, yeah. whatever reason it was, he wasn't letting off like how he would normally yeah. do. But, you know? but also, also, this is Navajo's debut. I, I was yeah. telling you in there as well. This is Navajo's yeah. MMA debut. We know who he is as a kickboxer. Yeah, we know we that. We know no what doubt. he can do. But look, the thing is that he even said afterwards, he said he was he was, he was was not, he just felt weird yeah. because it was... Was it, uh, my brain is so scrambled. Was it him that said the mats felt different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was him, him, right? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, him. He, yeah. Said, he said it was different from the kickboxing ring. And the mats, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yes. mats felt different. He so, just, yeah. So, yeah. It, it, so, that, it was just, diff- it was a different environment for him. That's all it was, I guess. Yeah. He just wasn't like there. But he still, you can see, even on his off day, he still beat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. On even on even on an off day, he still he still dominated still wins, the guy. Yeah. Still dominated him. Dominated him like the guy like, didn't even do much. He couldn't yeah. even do much. Navajo is not a wrestler, and he wrestled yeah. the fuck out of a. Yeah. That guy's probably an MMA fighter. Yeah, he right? probably he yeah. is. Yeah, a full time MMA fighter, and and he he wrestled that guy and dominated yeah. him. And I wish I I recorded the whole thing because I I feel like watching it again just so I can refresh my memory yeah. what he did. Clearly, like clearly, yeah. see. Navajo was landing some. It was landing some low kicks and well, stuff like that. Well, he landed some good strikes, right? Yeah, yeah. Leg kicks, teeps. His teeps is the main yeah. thing. When I train with him as well, the main thing we always generally do is, is the one two and the teeps and keeping your opponent far and, and teeps a lot of teeps. Yeah. And he tr- teaches you how to teep as well. And and you can see that even in kickboxing, when he's fighting the last guy he fought, whatever yeah, yeah. his name was, uh, teeps for days, till, man. So what something a till, right? Whatever the guy he fought yeah. the last guy. He was just teeping him just to keep him away. Like, yeah. this one part, he's rubbing his eye and he just teeped the guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, stay away. Let me just quickly get this out of my eye. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's, he's just, it's such a good move and he's yeah. so quick with it. It's his, like, main yeah. tool. It's his front teep. Muay Thai. He doesn't do Muay Thai style. If you see how Navajo fights as well, he's not hopping. And when we were hitting the pads, I remember, like, he, we do, like, this warm-up thing where, um, I forget. Uh, well, I remember I just kind of explained it now. It's not coming in my head. But it's like a... Step forward, one, two, step back, one, two, step side, one, two, right? Yeah. And it's a step side. And I kept jumping to the side. Like, I kept, like, hopping to the yeah. side. And then Navajo was like, don't do that. Don't hop. Like, just just literally just one, literally move your feet. Just one, two. Yeah. You know, and you can see that's what he does as well when he moves. And when he's showing it to me, 
like it's it's crazy, man. Because when I see him there and I see him in the ring, what he was telling me, he's doing it, you know. And it's, yeah, it's yeah. so like buzzy because he doesn't hop around. He's he doesn't yeah, yeah, he doesn't yeah. do like what um, Jacob was doing, where hop in, hop out, yeah, yeah, hop here, yeah, hop yeah, there. Yeah. You know, he just walks. He yeah. walks forward. He walks that, back. That's and, how it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's the and uh, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, I'll I'll probably text him. I don't know when. I, I want to text him soon. I want to go train. I want to ask him about the fight. Like it's yeah. in my mind. I'm like I get I. I'm training with him. I'm obviously paying him. He's my like I'm paying for personal training sessions, but I get to talk to him as well. Yeah. So I want to just ask him, pick his brain a little bit while we're training. Ask him about this fight and see what what he says about this fight and what he was feeling because he explained to me his, his King of the Ring fights, what he does, how he does it, what he was trying to do, how he was trying to set up, and now I get to ask him about his MMA debut. And I was there live watching it. It's it's so fucking cool, man. I just I I. Yeah, fucking hell, Navarro's the man, man. And uh, shout out yeah. his opponent. You can tell he was a good fighter. Yeah, of he course. Was but Navarro was just a better man that night. And Navarro really? was a fucking beast. He's I don't think Navarro was a better man that night. I think Navarro was just a better man in general. Yeah, in general, yeah. <laughs> he, was so, he was clearly on. Yeah. And he comes in, he does that. He's just such yeah. a fucking star, man. Literally, it's crazy, huh? Bro. He, he, he has that. cold face, man. He has that it factor. Navarro has that, that it he does. factor, you know, in him. Where he can, and he, he looks can be the good star. for for heavyweight man. Yeah. He looks fucking good. Like he's in, always in shape. So, I feel like Navo yeah. is probably one of those. I don't know. I'm just speaking out of my mind. But it looks like he's one of those fighters that doesn't really go off off diet much. Yeah, just dedicated to what yeah, he wants. Yeah. You know what I mean? And because uh, he started at 18. Yeah. I, and shout out Ali, the Ali channel on YouTube. He oh does, yeah, shout out to Ali. Yeah, yeah. I think he stopped making podcasts right now. Yeah, I haven't seen a much podcast for him, but but yeah. he's done podcasts with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, man. Anyone you can think of, he's done it with. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He done it with with Cam. He done it with um, Junior Fa. The only thing yeah. is Adesanya probably isn't that. Yeah. Done Van Roon. Done uh, Brad Riddell. Done everybody. You know, yeah. Eugene. He got yeah, everybody yeah. on. He did one with Navajo as well, and I should watch that again. But um, I remember Navajo was saying he started at eighteen. He just showed up to his MMA gym and, and uh, started training. 18. And now he's he's one year older than me. I thought he's we were the same age. He's one year older. And he's, what, 24 now? 25 this year, probably. And look at fucking hell, man. In, like, how long? In, like, six years, he's elite-level yeah. UFC caliber fighter. Yeah. It's crazy. Thanks. Crazy. Specimen of an athlete. His brother, yeah. as well, looks like a beast. Yeah, shout out to Shaquille. Shaquille, Shaquille man. Yeah. Shout out to my guy. He just graduated police uh, yeah. school. He's a cop. My guy's a cop yeah. now. Let's he looks like it. a gangster cop as well, man. <laughs> Imagine. He's, you don't want to fuck yeah. with him, bro. He'll choke you the fuck out. <laughs> He'll beat the shit out of you. He'll beat the shit out of you, <laughs> bro. Imagine you, like, get pulled over and check you. <laughs> Sterling pulls up to you, like, hey, yo, what's up? Man? Nah, he's just going to let us go. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hope. He's just going to let us nah, go. He's probably not. But I don't nah. know. He's, i seen his training. He's got guns and shit. So he's probably not the. Not the pull you over on the side of the road type of car he's probably in a I'm different sure. sort of department but yeah he's a gangster fighter too bro he's, a good like, fighter. he's older right yeah he's older he's my age yeah so I, I, age. I always thought he was younger yeah everyone he said the same thing everyone thinks he was younger but yeah because, no, because navajo is so big that's yeah no, and, I, and i thought that because i remember navajo posted something where he said when i'm done fighting my little brother will take over he said little brother he said little brother, he said little brother yeah and, uh, or maybe he said younger or he maybe he said brother yeah and i must miss my brain is just not thinking right, but yeah. I remember seeing that and thinking, "Oh shit, this how much more younger is this guy than he looks nah, so nah, big, nah. tall, jacked yeah, yeah, as fuck." Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, "Damn, is he eighteen? What the fuck?" Nah, nah, nah. he's my. But age. then, yeah, I saw on an, Shaquille's post. He said uh, he got arrested at seventeen, and now ten years later, he's in the yeah, uh, yeah. joined the blue family, yeah. blue blue family. Yeah, and so I was like, "Oh, he's 27, 28. Yeah, yeah shout out to Shaquille, man. Come and see him. Good back guy as well. Yeah, gym, yeah. I, I've literally solid guy. Solid. I've never met him ever, and yeah. like I followed him on Instagram. We followed back, and then like he like he's just like when I post him on Instagram, he'll like like the story and shit. Like you can tell he's like a, just a genuine. Yeah, he's good genuine, guy. man. He's a, he's a good kind, and, and he's a, a cop. So like cops see. are good, generally good people <laughs> in New Zealand at least. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, Other yeah. countries we don't know, but New Zealand most police are nice yeah. guys, right? They're good people. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, nah. So yeah, shout out to the Sterling family, man. Like, they're yeah. fucking, like, it's Fuck. good. good to know. And, uh, yeah, we can, we can kind of wrap it up here. We're about an hour in already. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, so we've kind of, hopefully, uh, Shuriken will see this and give us free tickets to the next show. Yeah. <laughs> and then V uh, Energy would see as well and give us you free see, drinks. You see, Romero versus Melvin Manholf? Melvin Manholf. And he didn't but, stop. He didn't stop. He broke for like 30 seconds, man. Like, what, what the Bro. Fuck? <laughs> Bro. For well, those my, who don't know, Yoel Romero is this fighter who's like a, a beast of a fighter. 
He beat this guy who was kind of on his way out anyways yeah. already. This uh, guy is Melvin Manhoof. He's a good fighter. Fuck, I good. know. He's a legend, bro. Do you know Melvin Manhoof? I, I didn't know. Bro, you need to do some research. Melvin Manhoof is a fucking legend. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Legend in Let the game. Let me finish my point. Let me finish. Yeah. But he, uh, I want to about the barking we just did. Yeah. So, uh, your remember <laughs> this, this legend UFC, uh, I mean, MMA fighter. After beating him in the first round, I think, right? TKO in the first or second round or something. Yeah. But he, he knocked him out, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, with elbows. And uh, Yorimura comes to the camera and he barks at the camera for 30 seconds. And he's just, hur, 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 when, my girl, when my girl comes out the shower. Hur, 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 hur. <laughs> Let's pull it up. I want to see if I can pull it up. Bro. I was like, what the fuck is this motherfucker <laughs> doing, bro? Some people say uh, UFC did a mistake cutting him, cutting Yorimura off too early. Yeah. From the UFC. Uh, I don't know. but um, He wasn't too happy with the UFC anyway. Yeah. So. You are uh, Homero. I wonder if I write barking, will it just pop up? <laughs> no, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why there's no sound, but uh, that's stupid that there's no sound. The sound might be my in my coming into my this thing here, my headphones. That's <laughs> my fucking bro. <laughs> Why, why are they on the prelims though? Gamrot's a savage, bro. 
Vulcan owes them if I didn't Nikita Krilov. Wait, yeah, let's talk about Bilal Muhammad. We don't want to talk about Bilal. Bilal, underrated fighter, boring ass yeah. fighter, let's be honest. <laughs> 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 boring fighter, but underrated as hell. Yeah. He's good at everything. He beat Stephen Thompson. Yeah, he beat Stephen Thompson. He beat, yeah. um, he beat <clears throat> Luke when Luke was the man. Fuck Luke yeah, obviously had, is kind of on a down now. Yeah. He got knocked out by um, whoever the fuck he fought last. I can't remember his name now. I forgot who he is. Uh, was it Neil Magny, was it? They knocked him out? Was it Neil Magny? I think it might Magny. have been Neil Magny, yeah. yeah. But he fought, yeah. Uh, but he fought Luke and beat Luke dominantly. Yeah, yeah. While Luke was the guy winning yeah. and submitting everybody first. Yeah, that was good, coming. man. Yeah. Bilal did very good in that fight. Like, Against Luke, he yeah. Kept, he kept moving and chopping. I think he was chopping his leg, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. He was doing good, man. Bilal was doing good. He was stalking and was, yeah. yeah, it was good, man. Just stepping to the side constantly. Stepping to the side constantly, and just, yeah. yeah and, and I think Luke, yeah, Luke was gassing out already. And he, yeah. kind of the same thing, what happened to him against uh, Luke against, I think it's Neil Magny or whatever the guy's name is. Same thing where Luke just gets tired and he starts just folding yeah. up like that and going towards the cage and shit. The same thing happened yeah. against Bilal as well. But uh, Bilal and Sean Brady. Sean Brady's, Sean Brady's undefeated. undefeated. Oh, man, I just realized. I don't remember who that is. Um, I, I, know, I know the though. name. I don't know if I know who he is though. I know Tom Brady, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I seen this guy with the with the with the t shirts I have a tattoo before. I saw him fight the last time. Can't remember who he fought. Let's see who he fought last. He was good. They took fifteen fights undefeated. Nineteen ninety two. So he's two years. Like he's about thirty years old. Okay. So yeah, he put fuck Kiesa. Oh and, fuck, and Jake Matthews. Yeah. I thought it was Christina Aguilera there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Christian Aguilera. Sorry, for Jake Matthews and, and Michael Chiesa. So those two. Yeah. Those two are good names. But yeah. But anyway, Sean Brady against uh, Bilal. Uh, Bilal. I don't know. That's going to be a hard fight. I guess Bilal. 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 That would be a good fight. Yeah. Um, then we got Benil. Benil Darius and Matthias Gamera. Benil will win. Fuck. Yeah. Gamera was good. Oh, wait, what are we looking at? Gamera on fire, bro. And he fought. Who did he fight that, that fight? No, 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 no. Gamera fought this other guy. Oh, oh, um, that Arman was, Sarukian. Yeah. That was the fuck. craziest fight. That was yeah, a yeah. wild fight, bro. Yeah. The Sarukian was... is gangster, yeah. man. So I felt like maybe Sarukian could have won that fight, probably. I don't remember who. Yeah. I don't remember how it went, but I but know it's round one, round two, days, bro. Was just on fire. Jabs, the speed, bro. The speed yeah. was insane, man. It's crazy. They're, they're what, lightweight, right? Yeah, I think they're lightweight. It's, it's yeah. insane, yeah. So that's gonna be a hard fight for Darius, unless yeah. uh, unless takes him down. But the yeah. scrambles are so good. Right? Yeah. Gamrot scrambled the way he got, the way both of them got back up. Yeah, yeah. they both uh, were evenly matched, man. Yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a killer fight, fight was, bro. It went under the radar as well. Yeah, I feel like. big nobody, time. Yeah, nobody big kind time. of. They were main event. I didn't. They, nobody kind of cared, but man, yeah, he's killer, man. And even Sarukin, yeah. don't fuck uh, sleep on him. He's like what 23, 24 years old. And yeah, Sarukin guy. is is a fucking killer, man. Like that guy's coming up. Armand, like, uh, I think people. I hope no one's sleeping on him on lightweight, bro. Like Sarukin is twenty five years old. Yeah, young kid, man. Fuck Sarukin around. is a fucking animal, bro. Insane fighter. But uh, yeah, okay, Matthias Gambrell and Benil. I, I'm just gonna go with Benil based on how good he is yeah, at yeah. ground, man. He's, he's so not, good. And he hasn't been beaten, he's gone on a winning streak. Yeah. What, 10 good. fights now? 9 fights? Don't know. No, probably yeah. not 10 now. That's, 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 uh, that was Islam. No, no, no he's, he's around there as well, I think. I think, if I'm not mistaken. He got, he got knocked out bad by someone. I can't remember who. How many fights? Seven, seven, seven fights. Who did he fight? Okay, he fought Drew Dober, <clears throat> Drew Carclos. He beat Moises Dober. He's been fighting high class guys as well, actually. Yeah. You know? Tony Ferguson was the last one, but yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Neil's a weird guy, honestly. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, he's fighting. Praise the Lord, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's very like. Nah, I like that. Politicians. <laughs> he's, he's very like politician type of guy as well. But he's just a nice guy, whatever, Benil. I, yeah. I'm going to go with Benil. Yeah, I'm going to go with Benil as well. Yeah, okay, and then let's just go straight. Piotr Jan, Sean O'Malley. Ooh, I told the you sugar on, show! I told you on the drive here, Sean has the reach, right? Sean O'Malley has yeah. the reach to beat Piotr Jan. He has the, the skill as well, but Piotr Jan is the pressure fighter, and it's a three-round fight, right? Mm. And Piotr gets... Uh, traditionally, we know Piotr Jan is the, the guy who's uh, just... Chills round one, round two, round three, four, and five. He comes in and dominates you. Yeah. Because of three round, maybe Piotr Jan might have a different game plan against against Sean. Yeah. Right. And uh, 
you don't know who's he fought that was that's very long no one maybe um uh what's his name the guy who he fought um last before aljo according to Anago. Corey, yeah maybe Corey is the longest fighter he fought other than that who's long look at that i don't know who jimmy rivera i know the name but i don't know who he is but then your favorite short guy jose aldo short hand aljo not very long arms actually aljo got really long arms but not you know not the tallest guy Corey is probably the tallest guy and now he's fighting um the literally the tallest guy like how tall is sean six three six four like sean is a yeah, tall guy six two probably tall for his division yeah and uh so uh, that's that's where i think sean has the advantage well no i think it literally is the, the advantage he's long he can keep uh Piotr away but i feel like sean might be a a wrestler going into this probably yeah a lot more ground game we might see i like Piotr and such a dangerous guy but if i'm putting money i'm gonna bet on Sean. I'm better on O'Malley. I'm better Sean. Sugar. It's a very Let's tough, go, Sugar. It's a tough one for me, man. Sugar Sean. Help me make that sugar. Let's go. Sean is the guy. Sean is the guy. But um don't know, man. It's very it's very tricky. And that's why makes the fight so exciting. Pure around might win, but I feel like Sean O'Malley needs to win. Because if Sean wins and uh then we'll scoot over to the next fight after this, because the next fight will be Aljo and uh TJ, right? Yeah. He'll get that Hopefully, fight. Hopefully, yeah, he gets that fight, the winner of that fight. And I think the winner of that fight, now we'll just jump right into that one. Al Jimmy Sterling versus TJ Dillashaw. And I feel like it's gonna be Anu. It's probably not gonna be Anu for me. It doesn't I, make I feel like I feel like Dillashaw might win. Dillashaw has that pressure though. He has that crazy come forward type of thing. He fought Corey Sanegan, close fight. Yeah. Don't they gave it to TJ, but I can't remember now. But I think I feel like Corey won. Corey that. won that fight, yeah. right? Because because yeah. and also I feel we, like Corey is hard on that. We yeah. can't we can't forget that that TJ destroyed his knee right something happened to tj's knee in that fight where he popped yeah. it or something yeah. and he kept and it was a close fight because of that yeah if tj didn't i can't remember what round up but if tj didn't dif- like fuck his knee up it could have been a different story yeah. he had a huge cut of yeah, fucking he huge gash he looked, on he looked more beat up than sanagan sanagan yeah and Corey obviously was surprised he lost because i and i can't remember the fight clearly it's been a while yeah. been a while but i remember feeling <clears> like Corey won that fight same yeah but I don't remember exactly what I saw that made yeah. me feel that way. But I know that. Anyways. Um, but Aljo versus TJ. I think Aljo wins. I'm going with TJ. I think Aljo, just because. Yeah. I think Aljo. <laughs> yeah. I think Aljo is just. He's just so much better on the ground. He's such a yeah. good wrestler. He's so good at wrestling. It's crazy how good he is at wrestling. Not sleeping Aljo. I just, I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like I'm going to go with TJ. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, but and Aljo's a smart guy as well. Like he's yeah. he, just based on how smart he is, I feel like he's he makes good decisions when he fights. And um, yeah, which I sh- you know yeah. what I, I want to start doing. I want to start doing like um, uh, you know how Dan already does those breakdowns. Yeah, I, I feel do, like we I wanna, do. yeah, I want to start doing something like that. Yeah, let's do that. Some some sit down and, and really just pick Break. apart yeah. exactly what this guy's good at, what's yeah, his height, what's his yeah. We'll do it like we call it something separate as well. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be. It yeah. wouldn't be um part of the podcast obviously but um uh okay yeah so now we'll go into the one yeah the fu- okay okay hold up this is the best card this year yeah literally the, the best where it's stacked up is crazy bro insane and you know dana white is doing this for abu dhabi right they have yeah. a deal with uh the literally the, the fucking city yeah. of abu dhabi or country or whatever abu dhabi is i think it's a city right it's in saudi arabia but it's abu yeah. dhabi yeah the city and here's the deal and so they want to bring the the, all the attention there oh, yeah. and uh, yeah fucking hell this is we're gonna do another podcast when we're closer to this and uh, we'll have more to talk about then about it but uh, Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev early prediction bro Charles. I'm going with Charles Oliveira don't get me wrong Makachev is a fucking animal but yeah. nah man Oliveira Oliveira is just too good on his back mm. he's striking his way better than Makachev that's for sure yeah and his ground game is really solidified. Like you know, he has he's, he he's good on his back. So yeah. if Makachev takes him down. He's good on the ground. Yeah. You know, but Makachev is, as well is fucking good with his wrestling. And so we're gonna see who's the better guy on the ground. Yeah. Because I feel like that's where it's gonna go. Because yeah. if Makachev keeps it standing, Oliver will fuck him up on, yeah, on the yeah. feet. I feel anyway. But some people um, say I forget. Some people say uh, Islam might not even wrestle here. He might just come to show that I can knock out this guy that nobody can knock and out. And he will not. He will lose. He will lose. He will lose. There's no way. That's fucking stupid if you do that. Charles stick gets to what, Charles is stick an to what bro, fighter. Stick to what brought you to the game. You know. Yeah. The wrestling and submission brought you to the game. Stick with that. But yeah. that's but that's why this fight's interesting because 
Oliveras is good on the ground, you know. Oliveras is a fucking, fucking man. He's an animal. He's a beast on the ground, yeah. bro. That guy's just it's like Casper the Ghost on the fucking ground. Yeah. Um, the first fight I ever saw of Oliveira, I I knew he like again like with the Matias Gamera and all these these names, right? I knew their names, but I never like care, I don't really care too much about watching them. Yeah. But the only time I watched him was because he's fighting Tony Ferguson. Yeah. That was the first fight I saw. <laughs> I'm like fucking, and I thought Tony was gonna be. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh yeah. my god. Gamera's a fucking animal. Uh, no, Charles. I'm talking oh, about Charles. sorry, Charles. Yeah. Charles is fucking... He just destroyed Tony round for round for round, man. He almost had Tony's arm snap. In yeah, the but arm that's it, Tony never tapped. Tony didn't tap. And it's, it's crazy how he tapped with Nate. He didn't tap with yeah. his arm almost ripping off yeah, his yeah. fucking shoulder. But when Nate got him in the neck, he's just like, ah, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, that's crazy. To- Tony's the guy that doesn't give up. Um... But Neil almost broke his fucking leg. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, his fucking, yeah. yeah. He popped his he's like, or knee or something. He's screaming. Like, he's literally yeah. in agony. And the referee didn't stop the fight and they let it go, you know. And, and uh, but Neil was saying, I, I, I was hearing just... And he's like, he's like, I can hear the tendons tearing. And he didn't tap. And he's like, I'm surprised. I was really surprised. You know anyway. what? But yeah, I'm going all the way up for this fight. Charles, yeah. Charles yeah. is the guy, man. Walks yeah. right into the fire. Like, he just... Uh, so he just pulls it out of the fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before we, before okay, before we we, we end up. or anything, mm. we need to talk about that in Juku one. Did we talk about it? The fucking cut on the motherfucker's oh, head. Oh fucking hell, bro! Um, <laughs> Wait, Gregory Chidi, Rodriguez yeah. versus Chidi in Juku one. Bro, he split his fucking head open, he was, bro. <laughs> He was you, the motherfucker. He elegant. became Ro- his Ro- name is Robocop. He became Robocop with the fucking Bro. with the eyes just connecting. I was watching. I was watching when David David did the video the reaction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Chance was in the back. Like, Chance was like, he can do a third eye poke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Chance crazy. is funny as fuck, man. It's, it's crazy. Chance is funny as fuck. His third eye. Yeah, but uh, it's crazy. You could see the artery, artery, bro. Yeah. You could see the artery. This shit was like, Yeah, it bro. was it was ripped open. Fuck. And it wasn't just... Oh, man. You what like, it? It was cheating. You could, like, elbow. cement this fucking head, bro. Just put some concrete and just seal it off. What was it? Was it an elbow? I don't know, but... Um, it was, no, it was a knee. It was a knee it to the head. It was a knee. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... He's good, man. Fucking yeah. Gregory's good. Every time he gets he hurt, came back he at wins. One. He came back at one with that shit like yeah, that, bro. But that's the thing. He's so good. He fought... Who did he fight? I can't remember, you know, but I always do that when UFC's on. I put, and I'll just lie down on my bed. Kind of watch, kind of don't. And I remember he was fighting someone on the Usman card or something, and he was losing. He was all wobbly yeah. and wobbly, and he won that fight. He gets hurt, and he comes, and he wins, man. Yeah. Gregory, I feel like middleweight... You know, but, but you probably wouldn't reach up to where I decide. Maybe you never know, right? Yeah. Nobody thought Sean Strickland would ever get that as high as he did. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. high, you know? Gregory Rodriguez is the guy, man. Yeah. Fucking hell. The fucking animal, animal, bro. Yeah, I, don't you, know, you, I don't know how he did that. So I don't yeah. know how he came back and fought with that shit, bro. Yeah, you were high on, on, on Chidi, and, and I fully thought yeah, Chidi, I was Chidi was winning. winning. Chidi was winning, winning the first round, yeah. And then second round comes, he's TKO's and <laughs> yeah. TKO's. Uh, um, like, Chidi was supposed to win that fight. I don't know how. Robocop, yeah, beat yeah. him, yeah. And bro, that, every time, Robocop, yeah. same thing. He's losing, losing, he wins. He's losing, losing, yeah, he wins. Yeah, I was high on Chidi, man. Yeah. I thought Chidi was going to win. Chidi is good, but like, yeah. fuck, I don't know what happened there, man. Fuck I'm, a f- I'm a fan now of Robocop. I've seen yeah. two fights of him before already, you know. And, and uh, yeah. both fights, he's been losing, losing, and then he wins. And... I kind of was like dismissive, like I know this bald guy, like it looks like an older guy, I know yeah, who he yeah. is, but and he's not gonna win, and yeah. he wins every time. And, and wait, one last thing as well, like yeah, we're gonna talk about Roger Federer versus Nadal. They had their last, the last fight. Last I, match. I didn't see the last one. Yeah, they had their last match together. Yeah. And they were like crying and stuff. I, saw, I used to play tennis. You know? Yeah, I used yeah, to do for sure. I, I, I watched a lot of tennis as well. Yeah, yeah. I used to play. I did yeah. tournaments and stuff. I was, yeah. I was doing tennis with my guy. Remember? Yeah, yeah, coach my guy. <laughs> yeah, coach my guy. And he trained me for free. How? 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 how what happened to him? Yeah, I don't know. Don't he don't tra- do trained me for free, and, and yeah. Clifford offered to train me for free. You know why? That's you know that's crazy because now when I look back, right, yeah. I had a, I had passion from a young age, man. Showing up. Yeah. I always showed up with my tennis racket and I just sat there. Yeah. yeah. At the steps. You know the steps to go down? Yeah. Yeah. I just sat there every day and I watched them play, watched them play, watched them play. I had my racket with me every day. Yeah, yeah. Every day I sat there. And Clifford one day said, like, is hey, is anyone training you? I, I was like, yeah, my guy. He's like, oh, okay. 
You know, he said, if my guy wasn't training you, I'll train you for free. I would yeah. train you for free because I see you here every day. You're just sitting down here yeah. with your racket and yeah. watching. Every day. Like, I showed up every day. Yeah. And that's when I realized, I just thought about this a few days ago, you know what I mean? I was like, so I had, that's why I, I can always show up. I always show up to the gym, no matter what. I just show up. Yeah. Yeah. So I had that from, from then, from back then. Yeah. Just showing up to uh, things. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing so, I just realized now. Yeah. Yeah, which, is, which, is, which is true. You, you've always... You've always competed in a lot of things. We've, you've you've done quite a lot in sports, right? You've done football as well. I yeah, I won a football tournament too. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, I got five bucks. Yeah, and the trophy. We won. The trophy. Yeah. I remember that trophy. Yeah, see, yeah. like you've always been athletic. We used to play basketball a lot as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine that, yeah. Poor guy, man. He's like, I think he's like a. Probably shouldn't say. This. I mean, he's never gonna watch this, but um, I think he does a lot of drugs now. I oh, see really? him a few times. He's skinny and his eyes always like, oh, so I've seen him a few times at Seven Eleven. Oh shit! Really? There, yeah. Oh, he looked like a full like junkie a little bit, you know. I hope he's fine. Maybe yeah. it's just me, but no, it's definitely not me. He was definitely was <laughs> the act. You could tell as well. Yeah. But uh, he went to the na- to the army, Singapore yeah, military, yeah, the Singapore army. army. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. that all kind of fucked him up, you know. You know, yeah, training yeah. that is crazy, you know. Yeah. I remember seeing a documentary on on. Yeah, he was so talented, man. The guy was so talented. Talented, talented man. Man. But that was when yeah. he was like seventeen, you know. Now yeah. he's like thirty something, you know. So it's, yeah, but sorry. like, what happened, man? Like, he was fucking good. He was yeah. really good, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but anyways, um. Uh, speaking of uh, Roger Federer and tennis, I I watch I don't watch like what's the upcoming game. I'll just watch like clips with the highlights and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. You know who Nick Kyrgios is? No. Nick is a fucking man, man. I'm telling you, he he's the next big superstar from tennis. He's the guy. He's like like entertaining. Is first of all entertaining. He's an Australian guy. He's um he's not white though. He's like something some some probably like Brazilian or something from yeah, Australia yeah. and from Australia and um entertaining as fuck. He gets angry. He talks a lot of shit. I'm sure you've seen the viral video of um, where there's this guy hitting a tennis ball and then uh, the guy, someone in the crowd yells, do, telling him something to do. And then he's like, because yeah, Ben Stiller was there in the, in the crowd. He looks around, looks at the guy. He's like, do I tell him how to act? And then uh, the guy's like, no. And then why are you telling me how to play tennis? And then he's, <laughs> he goes, and he, he's a young guy. He's probably like a like few years older than us. A uh, few years older than me, like 26, 27 probably. And uh, he's good, man. He's first of all, fucking good. Yeah. He's played against... Um, he's, I don't know if he played against Roger, but he played against uh, Djokovic. Oh, he's yeah. played against. He's a top. He's a, he's a yeah. elite. He's like the guy. He's a big. I haven't watched tennis for years. Yeah. But I used to watch him, and Nadal was my favorite. Yeah. I, I, I remember. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Is because I was left-handed as well. Yeah. Nadal yeah. was left-handed. Yeah. And left when you, if you're left-handed in tennis, you have an advantage. Yeah. For some reason, I can't remember because why. Why? Not everybody's the left-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Tennis, right? And uh, my guy was left-handed. As yeah. Well. yeah. 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 That's why he was one of the best players in the yeah. game. But yeah, Kabir um, as well. You don't yeah, see Kabir. Kabir is fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Kabir is yeah. fucking. He's played till this day, and uh, I didn't go. He called us. He was going, competing in a tournament here, and he how old is he? He's like he's old as fuck. He's like 36, 38, probably forty yeah. now at this point, and he's still competing. He he won the tournament, you know. Oh, nice. Tuno went for this. This is when Tuno was here, and yeah. Tuno was like, I couldn't believe how good Kabir is, man. Yeah, yeah. He's talking shit. He's like t- like cheering the crowd. He's talking <laughs> shit, and he's winning the game. Yeah. Like I couldn't believe. And Kabir is good. Him, yeah. I talk every time I see him. Like yo, bro, let's go play. I don't have anyone to go play tennis. Who Actually, I was gonna ask you, I'm gonna play tennis, man. We should. Cause I want to go. I feel like it's good for our, like our, our, our movement. And not only that, it's just fun as fuck. Yeah, man. tennis fun. is yeah. so good. Like, can you not remember how fun it is? Yeah. I, I watch. I'm watching tennis, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't yeah. like watch any sport, football, nothing, and I I watch tennis. I want you to watch this this Nick Nick's um, fuck man. I'm telling you, Nick's the man. I feel like he makes tennis fun to watch, man. I still have my tennis racket. I think at home. At home, yeah, yeah. Um, what was that guy? He fought this Russian guy, man. Um, where's versus not coming up? Versus versus. Uh, I need, I need, I'll send you this afterwards, but, um, it's, it was a free, free match. I remember watching it. It was, um, they named it the best fight. I'll just write Nick Kyrgios. Was it Damil Medvedev? Don't know, man, but I'm telling you, when you watch Nick play, it makes you, it's, he's like the Adesanya yeah. of tennis, man. It <laughs> makes you like, bro, I want to stop playing tennis, man. Yeah. This is, oh, he fought Nadal. Wimbledon 2019. Nada would have won. I need to know. Okay, I don't know. It's three hours. I don't know. Let me just see. Nada. Oh, shit. I didn't know. He, he... What's wrong with my keyboard? It's not responsive at all. What? 
Oh man, this is like almost written in the stars. You can never type this, but um, whatever. It's not working anymore. Not my keyboard, but um, Nick Curry is the man, man. I'm telling I you. Check him out. Send uh, some clips I'll clips. send you the clips. Yeah. Fuck it out. Right, we're yeah. gonna wrap this podcast up. Right. 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 Uh, my name is Kamif. It's like a king. Thank you for watching. You already know the fucking vibes. Shout out. Let's go. Shout out to V. Shout out v. I need that yeah. sponsorship. It's been making my cum taste good. We're not, getting, we're not getting the sponsorship if you say shit like that. I've been blowing. <laughs> Come on. I've been blowing no, fucking loads. No, <laughs> I don't associate with this man. I I don't know I've who he is. I've been blowing fucking loads, he's brother. Just, no, he's some random shit. Dude. I'm a good man. I've been busting nuts all day. I don't swear. You Shout know, out to me. Sponsor me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great brand ambassador. I will not <laughs> diminish your brand in any way. I know where their factory is as well. I'll just show up one day. They're not in fact to the HQ.